specifically the kid, had like membranes completely covering the surface of the eyes. So we started to study a little bit and we finally were able to produce the eye drops that are currently working fine in, the, in this kit. So my name is Chiara Cugno. I'm the director of the Advanced Therapy Corps and consultant at the Pediatric Oncology and Dermatology Department. The eye drop story started in March last year, immediately at the start of COVID. And the family was stuck in England because the baby that was one year old was diagnosed with plasminogen deficiency. So this is a defect of an enzyme that is present in the blood, but also in other parts of our body. So in UK, she had a surgery to remove this membrane that are the consequence of the uh, enzyme deficiency. And the family was inquiring through the chief of pediatric monk, uh, Dr. Hyman Sale, whether Sidra was able to do the same uh, treatment uh, locally. At that time, there was not this expertise. So we started to study a little bit and to arrange the local production of the eye drops. So it took us a few months before we could arrange all the different materials uh, from all over the world. And we finally were able to produce the eye drops that are currently working fine in, the, in this kit. So this is a, a good example of a personalized treatment because the eye drops are exactly fit for this patient with this uh, disease. As uh, the director of the Advanced Therapy Corps, we have a double approach. We act as a bridge between the research and the clinical side for the precision medicine program because we translate eventually into a treatment. For the first time, we were producing the serum eye drops in Qatar. Moving forward, we will go towards other more advanced treatment that can benefit even more patients.